Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to upload Instagram posts to Google business profile automatically. So here on Instagram, I'm promoting my business by posting some marketing images on my Instagram account. So here what I want is that as I'm going to add a new post or a new image on my Instagram account for my business, that automatically I want to upload the same image on my Google business profile account too. So for my objective, I have to build a connection between Instagram and Google business profile. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to add a new post on my Instagram account, then automatically I'm going to upload the image of that post on my Google business profile too. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see how we can upload Instagram post on Google business profile automatically. So automatically uploading Instagram posts to Google business profile can streamline your social media management and enhance your online presence. So imagine you manage a business such as a restaurant, retail store or a service based business and maintaining an active and engaging presence on multiple platforms is crucial for attracting the retaining customers. However, manually posting content across various channels can be a time consuming and lead to inconsistent updates. So by automating the process of uploading Instagram posts to your Google business profile, you can ensure that your latest content reaches a wider audience without additional efforts. For example, a restaurant can automatically share the Instagram posts featuring daily specials or events directly to the Google business profile and this will keep their profile fresh and engaging for potential customers searching for their business on Google. So this integration not only saves time, but also ensures consistency in your branding and marketing efforts across platforms. And this is going to enhance your overall online presence. So in this video, I will guide you through the steps to set up this automation using Pabli Connect. And you can effortlessly manage your social media content and keep your Google business profile up to date with your latest Instagram posts. So here what I want is that as I'm going to post an image or a marketing post on my Instagram account for my business, then automatically I want that same image to get uploaded on my Google business profile. So here this is my Google business profile for my business that is named as Parampara. So I'm going to see my profile. And here on photos, we can see I have all these photos that I have uploaded for my business. Now I'm going to close this. And now what I want is that as I'm going to post a new image on my Instagram account for marketing my business, then automatically I want that same post to get uploaded on my Google business profile too. So for this, I need to connect Instagram with Google business profile and I'm going to build this connection with the help of Pabli Connect. So with Pabli Connect, I'm going to build this connection between Instagram and Google business profile without any coding and programming skills. Now for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow. So I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to upload Instagram posts to Google business profile automatically. And now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here I'm going to find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account. And here I'm going to select this folder of home and I need to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window for our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is just going to follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Instagram. So I'm going to search for that and I need to select Instagram here. Now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new media posted in my account will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this 
and I need to connect Instagram with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I need to connect with Instagram. And here I need to click on allow to give access to my account. And here I have successfully connected Instagram with Pabli Connect. Now here what I need to do is I need to first create a new post on my Instagram account. So I'm going to take you to Instagram and here this is my Instagram account and here I'm going to create a new post. So I'm going to click on create button. I will click on post and I'm going to select my post from computer. Now here I want to post this image. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to crop this and here this is going to be my image that I want to post. Now I'm going to click on next. I will again click on next and I'm going to give the caption. So here the caption will be, we have a special offer for you all this Monday. You can enjoy every burger at just 50 rupees from our store. So what are you waiting for? Now go and grab your burger. So this is going to be my caption and this is going to be my image and I'm going to post this on my Instagram account. So I'm going to click on share. And here we can see I have shared my post. Now I'm going to refresh my profile and here on my profile we can see I have this image that I have posted. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and here in Pabli Connect I need to click on save and send as showcase button and here in response we can see I have received this response and in this response I have my username, I have my media URL. So this is the URL of my image that I have posted on my Instagram account. Also here I have my media type that is image and I have this caption that I posted with my post. So my caption is, we have a special offer for you all this Monday. You can enjoy every burger at just 50 rupees from our store. So what are you waiting for? Now go and grab your burger. So this is going to be my caption and here I have received all the detail of my post. So here I have received this response from Instagram. But if you don't receive this response, then you don't have to worry because this is a polling based response. And within the next 10 minutes, you are going to receive this response from Instagram. So this 10 minutes are the polling time of Instagram. Now what is going to happen is that in every 10 minutes, Instagram is going to capture the new responses of the new post that is going to get posted on my account and it is going to send the response of that post to Pabli Connect. So in every 10 minutes, we are going to receive the response from Instagram if we are going to post any image on Instagram. So as this is a polling based response, so we have to wait for the next 10 minutes to receive the response from Instagram and here we have received this response. Now here what I want is that I want to upload the images from my Instagram post only if I'm receiving my Instagram post as a media type of image. So I'm going to upload the images from my Instagram post in my Google business profile. So for that what I want is that I want to set up a filter. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this media type as my label and here my value is going to be of image. So in my media type I'm receiving the value of image then only I want this workflow to work and I want my Instagram post to get uploaded on my Google business profile too. So here for setting up my filter, I need to set up my action step. And here my action application is going to be filtered by Pabli. So I'm going to select that. And here I need to give my action events. So I'm going to open this tab and filter values will be my action events. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on connect. Now here what I need to do is I need to connect filter by Pabli with Pabli connect. And for setting up my condition, what I need to do is I need to select my label, filter type and the value. So here in label, I'm going to open this tab. I'm going to open this response of Instagram. And here I'm going to select my label as media type. Now here my filter type is going to be equal to and I need to give my value. So here my value is going to be of image. And now as I'm going to receive this value in my response or in my label of media type, then this condition is going to be true. And this will mean that I'm receiving my Instagram post as an image and I can upload that on my Google business profile account too. Now I have set up my condition. So I'm going to click on save and send test request button. Now here we can see I have received this response and in the response I have the status of success and I have the message that says condition is true. So here we can see that I'm receiving my image from my Instagram account. Now I want this image on my Google business profile too. So for that I'm going to add one more action step. And here my action application is going to be Google business profile. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select Google business profile. Now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab 
and here upload media photo will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I need to connect Google business profile with Pabli connect. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and for connecting Google business profile with Pabli connect, I need to sign in with Google. Now here I need to click on continue to give access to my account and my connection here is successful. Now first I need to select my account that I want to use for uploading my photos and here I only have one account that is of Parampara. So I have selected that and now I need to give my location. So for my location I need to take you to my Google business profile and here I'm going to use this location of Parampara which is the name of my business and I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and for selecting the location I need to open this tab and here you will find all the businesses or all the location that you have in your Google business profile or of your business and you can select any location that you want to use. So I'm going to use this location of Parampara and now I need to give my source URL. So here in the source URL I need to give the media URL of my image that I posted on my Instagram account and here I'm going to use the media URL from my response of Instagram and I'm going to map that here in this tab. So here for that I need to use mapping and what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to click here, I will open this response of Instagram and here this is my media URL so I'm going to map this and now I need to give my association category. So I'm going to open this tab and here I have all the categories of my photos that I can upload on my Google business profile. And here I'm going to select my category of product and here I have filled all the required details and I have mapped this detail here. So as I have mapped this detail here, I have made this detail dynamic. Now what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response from Instagram for a new post, then automatically the data that I've mapped here are going to get replaced with the new data of the Instagram in the real time. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have uploaded my Instagram post on my Google business profile too. So I have uploaded that as an image. So I'm going to take you to my Google business profile and here I'm going to go to photos and here in photos we can see I have this photo that is pending. So this photo is still getting uploaded. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to refresh this page. I will again go to photos. And here we can see it has been automatically uploaded on my Google business profile. So here this was the photo of my Instagram post that I have posted on my Instagram account as a marketing for my business and I have automatically uploaded that image on my Google business profile too. Now I can use this Instagram post or this image to create new posts in my Google business profile and also I can use this photo on my Google business profile too. So here we can see that I have successfully uploaded the image that I have received from my Instagram post on my Google business profile and here I have successfully created this automation between Instagram and Google business profile. So here I have successfully created this connection and this automation between Instagram and Google business profile and now as I'm going to create a new post on my Instagram account for marketing of my business and I'm going to post a new image on my account then automatically that same image will get uploaded on my Google business profile too. So here I've successfully created this automation between Instagram and Google business profile. So let me take you back to Public Connect. So here I've created this connection between Instagram and Google business profile to upload Instagram posts to Google business profile automatically. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and my trigger application was Instagram and my trigger event was new media posted in my account. Then I've set up my filter and I've set up my filter to run my condition and then I've set up my last action step where I've used Google business profile as my action application and my action even was upload media photo. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.